So to find the percent hydrogen peroxide in our solution, we first have to find the moles of what we know. And we know we have potassium permanganate. So to do that, we manipulate the molarity, molarity equation that is usually moles over liters. So moles equals molarity times liters, since those are the two that we know. So we multiply molarity times the liters, and we get 2.834 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of potassium permanganate. With others' data, the answers to that will vary, but for our data, these are our answers. Next, after we have the moles of potassium permanganate, we're able to use that to find the grams of hydrogen peroxide. So we put that into stoichiometry, into a dimensional analysis, and so we go from moles, to, and then we go to the mole ratio, which is 5 moles of hydrogen peroxide over 2 moles of potassium permanganate. And then after we get to hydrogen peroxide, we're able to multiply by the molar mass to find grams of hydrogen peroxide. And that is 2.409 times 10 to the negative 2. So after that, we need to get our answer in milliliters to be able to put it over the whole to find our percent. So to do that, we need to use the density of it, which is 1. And we manipulate, manipulate the density equation to V equals M over D to find the volume. And this should give it to us in milliliters. So we have 2.409 times 10 to the negative 2 grams divided by 1, and that will give us 2.409 times 10 to the negative 2 milliliters. It is now milliliters because of the density calculation, which is just what we need. So now we're able to put the milliliters of what we know we have of hydrogen peroxide over our 1 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide solution that we put into our solution that was titrated. So we do, we divide our milliliters by the total, and then we multiply it by 100 to get the percent, and that should give you the answer.